Hello everybody, welcome back to the Hard West. Well, uh, right, we're just trying to live, really. <laughs> trying try to start up on some trades, get some money, buy some food, you know, all of that good stuff. But, uh, you know, it's a little hard to do that out here, especially when you're so limited with money and all that. Gain demonic strength. Here, here you go. Listen, it's not because he's black, okay? It has nothing to do with that. He, he, he gets the nine of spades because it'll give him a three of a kind, okay? Oh, that increases his max luck. Oh, wow. It has nothing to do with the fact he's black, okay? Calm down. Calm down. Uh, there was... What? What was going on? Now oh, the fate traders back. There's these crossroads. Oh, well, you know what? Let's go down to the. Wait. Did I buy a whole bunch of random items? No. Okay. Well, let's go to the railroad station. The Iron Globe Trotter station building was deserted, but a small hut with a mortar and pestle sign stood nearby. A notice on the wall said merchant train called protection was due to arrive in the in the morning. Uh I'm take her waited a while. The day is nearing its end. Let's feed our starving. And Undertaker gets an extra ration. Another day has had arrived. No rest for the wicked. So, did we not get anything from that? It's in the medic's house. The shoddy house was inhabited by the local medic, a dirty, sleepy man who didn't socialize much. Apparently, most people were too poor to afford healing, but he refused to work for free. Okay. Well, let's go to the abandoned wagon. None of us have injuries, so we don't have to worry about that. The group found a damaged wagon. After investigating, Harrington determined it had come from the west, but had been intercepted by people coming from the north. The people then took one person from the wagon and rode back where they came from. The wagon held several interesting items, but the weather was deteriorating by the minute. A vicious sandstorm looked to be brewing. Uh, let's try to collect everything. Sandstorm hit while the posse was still collecting loot, scattering them. It took the posse several hours to get back together. Oh, okay, so we... Eh, eh, we got the Ace of Diamonds. Got some opium, liquor, an angelic sphere, and some food. What's this angelic, angelic sphere? Oh! Little is known about the contents of or the makers of the carved glass containers. Restore HP to allies in radius? <coughs> Amazing! That sneeze was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a use item. That would explain why it's so amazing. Eh, you know, that that's fine. That's fine. That sounds really good. Let's take a look at this Ace of Diamonds. Right, we can... S the Scavenger ability. Well. Let's go ahead and give this Ace to the Undertaker. So we now have a two pair, which gives us bonus to defense. Goody goody gumdrops. The tracks led them to two ruined buildings on a hill overlooking a river. Inhuman laughter and howling emanated from the compounds. Harrington scouted ahead, returning to report that the compound was inhabited by men following the orders of an insane cultist. They called the Mad King. The a Ashmore was here, though dead or alive was anyone's guess. Let's go take care of this. And I think everybody's already set with what they, uh, they got. Let's take care of this situation. With guns. Cause guns- The Undertaker and the Bounty Hunter approach the abandoned sawmill. Oh, what, what's going on? They oh, needed to find is. Reverend Ashmore. Hopefully more alive than dead. 
they would either stumble into him by chance in one of the buildings or beat the truth out of the Mad King. Loot the supply boxes. Hmm. Well, I do like supplies. I like the idea of scavenging, okay? Let's send one of our faster people. Yeah, Oswald has some really good speed, so let's uh, send him to get uh, that one. Uh, you can come with me. After all, we don't want to don't want to get caught. Oh, there's a woman right there. Uh oh, and a person right there. Hmm. Well, we were set up right there. We're still unseen. You, go right there. Get a line of sight for me. Okay, so he's looking this way. She's looking that way. You can easily just run up and scavenge, which is nice. The crate contained much needed food supplies. Yes! Uh, okay, you're looking that way. We can kind of squeeze in right there. What's that? Is that a trap door? I think that's a trap door. Oh, uh, it's... Oh, uh, this is... We'd be seen right there. No way, no way to really get by. Yeah, no. It, it would be better to just go ahead and ignore this spot for right now. Yeah, we'll just ignore that for right now. And let's let's get moving up. Let's go subdue the Mad King. I didn't know that Ryan from Achievement Hunter was here. Hmm. Crazy bastard is everywhere. Everywhere, as I tells you. Yeah, let's move up. We can probably get that supplies. Possibly. Possible. Let's see. Okay, he's looking that way. So yeah, we can we can get the uh, drop on him. There's more supplies right over there. This person right there. Question is, will they be able to see me? Let's tempt it. Well, he he won't be able to see me, but ah, wow. They really have a lock on their supplies. Curse them. Curse them dearly. Yeah, and the only way to get that would be to hold up both of them, I believe. Yeah, but holding down over here seems like a fairly fairly good spot. Yeah, we can place someone right there, hold down that bridge. We can place someone uh I would say behind this tree, hold this bridge, and then we place somebody probably, oh, let's say right there to hold down this bridge. Yeah, yeah, we could work with this. We can work with this. Uh, the map designs for this game are really good. I like them. They, they deserve an, a, a round of applause. Yeah, because I... I'm pretty sure they have that food locked up as well. So I say let's just let let's subdue this man. Learn Ashmore's whereabouts. Then kill everyone. Take all of their food and then save Ashmore. It's just crazy enough it might work. I cannot threaten when other enemies see me. Um Okay. What if I go on to this side of the building? And you set up right there. You can head right on down there. Because I want to subdue this guy and that guy. Subdue him! In a rush of lucidity, 
The Mad King revealed the Good Reverend's location. Wow, he's right next to us. We could complete this, like, right now, but I really want some food. You just stay right there. Just, uh, don't move yet. Don't move. Yeah, let's... What would it be like if we shot him? Oh, wait. Yeah, we have a we have a hundred percent chance of hitting. And you can make sure to uh, be able to hit that guy, right? Ooh, the Derringer is kind of the best bet right here, and it doesn't even have the best uh, best look of it. But you know what? I'm willing to risk it. Let's go ahead and get this shot off on. Let, let's go ahead and take. Well, actually, it would be better to make sure we're all in cover first. So we have one more turn. Let's go ahead and place you there. There's you. You should be safe right there. Wait. If we if we free, well, we're gonna have to start a shoot up anyways since we can't uh, get to him without killing them. So. Looks like we're gonna get into a fight anyways. You know what? This is gonna be fun. You can be placed right there. You're okay right there. Okay. Now, uh, let's kick things off. Wait. Oh. We can apparently shoot that guy. But, uh, you should... Yeah, you can hit him. Start it up! There goes that guy. We have started combat. Okay. Now. Fires a shot at every enemy in sight up to six times. Now, we could do that. Well, what's our chances of hitting them? 100% and 50%. Or if we use this, it's 100% and 69%. Here, let's use... Let's use Chain Kill. Then we're gonna just shoot this guy. We gain an AP. Then shoot at that guy. And we missed. Oh, but Booker still has one more move that he can take because you can fire twice with the Derringer. I want to make sure we kill that guy. Yeah, his luck just ran out. Ah, they're starting to riot. Shoot them. Shoot them with your guns. Yeah, let's free the Reverend, and then we'll be fighting our way out of here. Go ahead and uh, equip your scoped custom rifle. I need you to, to make sure we're okay, so shoot her. Nice, good job. You, grab the food. More food was found. A blessing indeed. <laughs> sure. A blessing. Now get over there and make sure that anyone that moves against us gets shot. As the Reverend promised his saviors a lifetime of prayers, the Undertaker looked for a way out of there. Cool. Ashmore pointed out a boat oh. they could use to escape downstream. <laughs> Trust me, we don't need it. Oh, that's actually kind of a dangerous spot because people can come from that direction. I, I think we might we, we should still be okay hmm. okay so that's the gun you got ah he looks like such a friendly person in any case get inside and take cover <laughs> Reverend knows how to use a, a pistol also why was he locked up in there with a pistol if they opened the door at any moment he could have started his escape Seriously, these bandits are stupid. 
Yeah, just keep on firing. Let's reload. And can we ricochet anything? No? Okay. Um. Yeah, let's keep you there. You have line of sight on people? You do. You might. Might. Eh. Nah, it seems like a bit of a bad idea to try and move up. Yeah. Better just take some pot shots. Remember, there's no wasted shot in this game. Uh, Reverend... I'm cautious about uh, about moving you up. Might be better just leave you here. Until uh, things kind of get squared away. Mmm. Mm -mm. Not liking this. Not liking this. Just, just take the shot. Oh, hey, you hit. That's amazing. Uh, Undertaker. Here. Actually, let's get you to come back this way and help out a little on this end. Because if we can clear up this side, then we can effectively flank around. Put them into a bit of a bad position. Equalization! All of my people get one HP! We, yeah, we, we, we should find a dead body. We should find a dead body. Uh, you know what? This guy's a dead body. He was killed right there, right? Yeah, he was killed right there. Yeah, well, he's a dead body. Let's see about taking his, uh... T taking a rare gun that he apparently had. Okay, yeah, just keep on shooting at him. Y'all's luck ain't, ain't all that great. Oh, he has moved into a bit of a precarious situation. Yeah, into a bit of a precarious location. He still has full co- Oh, yeah, he does. We can't move there now because he'll just shoot us. Just, uh, just take some shots on him. Again, I like to think we are doing good by killing these people. Actually, I don't think I even said that at any point during this video. I like to think we're doing good by killing these people. Remember, they kidnapped a reverend. And only bad people would do that. At least, uh, by western standards. Okay, so he'll be dead by next turn. Now, equip that gun. And see what scavenger will get us. The judge? The frick is this? Eh? I don't know what this is. No clue. Doesn't really matter because we don't have line of sight on anyone. But it doesn't look like anybody's actually coming this way. So let's actually just place you a bit further up. It's a bit of a dangerous spot, but again, I don't, I don't think they're going to be coming from that way. Ah, the Reverend has been shot. I repeat, the Reverend has been shot. This is a fun location. Like, I really like this, this, this area. Who do you have line of sight on? More importantly, can you shoot them with... You... You have a better chance with thi this thing? Okay. Yeah, sure, let's take a shot on him. Because there's... Ah, curses! Oh, well. Fire! Darn. You. Just keep on shooting at him. I want him to feel scared. Shoot! Got him! Okay, so we, we can start moving up on uh, that direction. And uh, as long as we don't end our turn on the bridge, we should be okay doing that. Should be. Uh, because if I can remember correctly, there's quite a few people on this side. 
but I want that supplies! So, Undertaker, go ahead and reload the judge. And take a shot off on someone. Who you decide? Him? Seemed like a good choice. Johnson, shoot. Okay, that's gonna set up Undertaker for the next turn. He'll be able to hit that. He'll be able to tap that. Oh boy, one problem about this area? No huge amount of cover. Of course, we can just run. Here, let's take it turn by turn. Let's run up there. She's out in the open. Take her down. Oh no, there's another one. Uh. Uh, frick. Uh, yeah, shoot, shoot at him. He's dead. Awesome. I knew I would make the right decision. And you, Reverend, go ahead and move up as well. Uh, his health isn't the best. Uh, that's probably not the bat be best choice that I made. <laughs> oh, no, that was a horrible choice. Oh, thank God. Thank God the Reverend had luck. Now, Reverend, you do the same to her. Make sure that she regrets trying to flank you. Reverend, you're useless. Um... I don't know, uh... You're, you're better off there. Huh. Shoot at her! Come on, kill her! Thank you! Good job. Now this guy is gonna get killed by THE UNDERTAKER! Shoot! He's dead. And Booker Johnson, I need you to start moving up. Take that spot. Yeah, cause uh, I'm hoping to take out these guys, uh, you know, flanked on two fronts. Yeah. <coughs> oh, another sneeze. Jeez, I'm so sorry, people. Oh, I'm sneezing all over the place. I'm. I'm just a sickly little dog, okay? Take a shot on him. Please hit him. Please hit him. Yes! 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 <laughs> you! Oh, your luck's almost out. Um, can I, can I, you know what? Take a bit of a, lo a safe spot. T go right there. No, right there. Yeah, I don't... Okay. You. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I need to increase your line of sight. Because you, you you have great aim, but you cannot necessarily see them a lot of the time. Uh you, my bounty hunter friend, can move right there. You You see them, but you can't shoot them. Um Move up some more. Move up right there. You should be okay there. She's moving. Oh boy. It's like a nice little... It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh, there's a guy right there. Yeah, sure. Shoot him. That took care of him. Should be able to hit her from here. Oh. <laughs> if we, uh, nope, nope, we, we, we don't have any line of sight on her. She is hidden from us. But we know she's there, so let's not do anything stupid. Move him here. She can just move, like, right there. Of course, she's flanked there, so she's not going to move there because she'll still be in line of sight. Here. Uh, let's move you up to right. Well, you know what? Grab the food. The third crate was also packed with rations. Nice. Sweet. 
Move right there, and you can just move on up to right there. Again, he should still be safe. She'll probably end up taking a shot on him since he has the lowest luck. Yep. Oh, no. She shot at him. Huh. That was an interesting choice. Okay. Move up and kill her. Should, be, should have best line of sight from right there. No? No line of sight? Really? Okay. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Because I'm gonna move you up, grab that food, and you're still in cover, and then I want- More found food. And, and then she's probably Real gonna try and move. Copia. You... I mean, if you move right there, you have line of sight on her, and you have the flank, so she should be able to- She should die! Oh, except you don't have a close range. Well... Still worked. Still worked out. Okay, everybody, let's uh, let's start moving towards our escape route. Even though every everyone else is dead, I think. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, from from my count, everyone is dead. And uh, the only person that really took injuries was uh, mm, the Reverend. So is this going to be a situation of, like, we're having to manage, like, seven people at once, but then we get into a really awesome, like, last battle? Where we just are, like, holding down a fort or something? Is that what this is coming to? Tell me! And now... you... Made it. Oh, please tell me what we got. I want to know all the food I got. The boat fl Hold on. Queen of Diamonds. Six food portions. Yes, Navy gun, Lucky Horseshoe, and a rabbit foot. The boat floated with the current. They were out of danger. Reverend Ashmore thanked everyone and asked why they wanted to find him. When the Undertaker told him about his curse, the priest shook his head in embarrassment, replying that he merely had, as all men did, the power to do good. He offered to join the posse and help with the search. Yeah, sure. Reverend Ashmore inclined his head with a smile and pointed to the heap of items stacked on the boat. They were almost all his possessions, confiscated by the Mad King's followers. After rummaging through the collection, he produced a masterfully crafted rifle he called the Bone Hand. Ashmore presented it to Undertaker, warning that it should only be handled by emissaries of death. Clearly, he believed that Undertaker was one. I'm sorry? What is this that you speak of? Bone Hand. Oh. Unique Rifle was commissioned specially for exorcist work. <laughs> uh, damage of 6, heat of 2, damage versus half cover 3, damage versus full cover 1. Well. Oh, well, it does give more aim than... Yeah, sure, go ahead. Uh, go ahead and also take your gun back, and I suppose, Reverend, you can have this scoped rifle. Nobody else wants it. Uh... Nail bomb. Sure. And, of course, uh... Sure, a mandrake root. Why not? Then, oh, boy. Oh, holy crap. Yes, you deserve that. For bringing it to me, you deserve it. Rabbit's foot for plus 35 luck. Oh. Oh my. Oh my goodness. All of the luck. All of the luck. Oh, we got a Queen of Diamonds. When not in direct sunlight, you become invisible. You know what? Let's, uh, let's queen up our friend down here. Get him that pair. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you, mmm, you beautiful son of a mm, biscuit-eating muncher. Yes, okay. 
thank you all so much for watching, uh, as usual. Sorry this takes forever, but oh my god, you have to admit, that was just such a fulfilling episode. Uh, th uh, what? Have a wonderful day, tell your friends about me, and like or dislike it, it's up to you. Bye!